removing or uninstalling or disabling a, a module in Adobe Commerce or Magento 2 seems like a fairly benign task. We can do it. Not something we would probably do every day, but it's, it's doable. But there's some actual important ramifications that must be considered in this process. So that's what this knowledge bite is going to be about. We're ask a question, provide three different answers, and the result is basically an expose about what happens to data when we disable or remove a module. What are the ramifications of that? So to move, jump into this, let's take a look at the question. You are given the task of uninstalling an extension from a Magento 2 website. This extension does not use the whitelist methodology, instead relying on setup scripts. After using the bin Magento module uninstall command, you observe that the module is removed from the system. However, the database table related to the module still remains in the database. Why did this happen? And three different answers here. Take a look at these. You must manually delete it from the database. A, B, you need to remove, use the remove data flag and the module must have an uninstall class that cleans up the database. Or C, the module is still in use by another extension. Basically a dependency issue. So what is the answer? Now, it we could just throw at you the answer uh, and Many of you did get the answer correct in our video that we posted on LinkedIn, but I think there's one step we can do better than that. And that step better is to prove it, make it just as obvious as night and day we can prove it. So to that extent, I built a sample module, installed it via Composer, and uh, have executed it. Take a look at this. Uh, we ran these the two commands uh, to, ins we've installed uh, the module, we have run setup upgrade, and we now have our uh, table here listed. We can even go so far as to add a ASDF, the classic programmer signature, right there. Now, what I've also done then is uh, created, run the bin Magento module on install. I set some breakpoints, and be very, it's very important to note that I, these breakpoints are set in the uh, setup directory. I literally blew a half an hour, 45 minutes, because I forgot that the vendor directory is not used for the specific uh, CLI command. So, it is used for, uh, the setup directory is used for some of these. So important thing to note. So this is our initial breakpoint. We're just gonna jump past this. It's going to say, are you, you want? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am sure I want to do this. Uh, and we're gonna skip past this one and this one. Um, we actually wanna skip way past that one. Um, and it's, now it's gonna say, hey, there's some modules that have some database data. And actually uh, this one pretty much always shows up if there are, uh, classes in in modules even that you haven't specified uninstall classes and you see i have created an uninstall class that, that implements uh, uninstall interface and here we're just going to drop the table now the one thing to note here is uh, we, we're using db schema to create the database table because i'm going to show you what it looks like with the whitelist json i have this commented out so it's not going to trigger so ultimately it's created with db schema but removed with a setup uh, uninstall script so uh, we have to say yes here. Bam, ready to go. So our uninstall collector locates all the modules, uh, fetches them, uh, it checks to see if it's an uh, instance of an uninstall interface, and then it adds it to our uninstall list. Step in here, uh, basically creates this object and then calls uninstall on it, which uh, will have actually, I didn't set a breakpoint there, uh, but it will then drop this table. And if we were to come back to our, uh, our database editor, uh, refresh tables, we see that that table has since disappeared. Voila, bingo, good job. Now, uh, in the actual answer B, which I would say is the correct answer here, uh, one thing to note is we have the remove data flag set. The remove data basically prevents you from having to enter Y in again. And ultimately, I think I believe there's a force flag that you can add in to prevent having to use uh, the uh, first to, to bypass the first Y prompt. Now, one thing to note here that's, that is important is this only, this action occurs once. Basically what happens is uh, by running module uninstall, it removes uh, this module out of composer and executes the, those, that in uninstall data script once. It doesn't happen again. So it doesn't happen in production, which ultimately is kind of a safety measure, but it's also kind of obtuse in that how do we get this data out of production now? 
you kind of have to run it manually if, if my thinking is, is, is accurate here. So with that, I think the next most appropriate thing would be to now look at what happens when we are using a DB whitelist. So using DB schema with a whitelist. So we're gonna go back and install these, uh, this module again. And I am going to show you a couple other things. It just takes a moment to uh, get this installed. We're gonna run through setup upgrade. Our table should appear again. Actually, no, it won't because we need to run first uh, uh, module enable and swift otter uh, db uninstall. We'll get it enabled, then we'll upgrade it, and then we'll be ready to test this out. Once this triggers, and it takes just a moment to do so. Cool. All right. So come back over to our database, refresh the table. Table to uninstall is here. Now, watch this. And this is what is can be particularly dangerous. Module uninstall or disable. Uh, disable Swift Otter DB uninstall. We'll let this do its magic. And let's see if the table is uh, dis disappears. Nope, it's fine. All right, but watch this. We're gonna run setup upgrade. And this is where it becomes a little bit dangerous. Boom, gone. So in other words, if you disable a module and push this out to production, what happens? Well, this module is the all the all the data is removed from there and in fact if you have revertible patches those are also run and it gets a little bit it can be dangerous in fact if this is done accidentally and a module is accidentally disabled and pushed to production it can ultimately delete production data and i have heard of instances where this has happened so this is absolutely critical let's look at one other scenario and uh, we're going to uh Let's see here. We disabled it, so we got to re-enable it, and we're going to um, we're going to then uninstall this module, and we will see if this da uh, data disappears um, after uh, uninstalling it, but not disabling it. Give it a second here. We will let this run through its processes, and then finally, uh, let's just copy this over. We don't need to follow it along here in our uh, in the XD bug side. Using uh, Warden, and a cool feature of that is you can uh, type in uh, Warden ENV uh, and then either Shell, which is non-debugged, non uh, not, not enabled with xDebug, or um, you can do debug. So Warden uh, ENV debug, which is uh, uh, xDebug enabled. So you can easily switch back and forth. Oh, one thing I forgot is in order to fully prove this, we do need to remove our... Um, Yes, and it's re-indexing here. Let me, uh, uh, did we somehow not get this enabled? Let's see here. Now that is there. It just takes PHP Storm a moment to pick it up here. Um, there it is. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Let's rename this one over uh, setup one. All right, uh, so that's ultimately, actually, just to be safe, we're going to cancel out of this. Um, and rerun it just because I missed that. We have a setup here. Run that. Yep. Okay. Well, it seems like we have it again. And now let's. It's back. So, this is this is kind of weird, folks. Basically, what happens is if you run a setup or if you run a module uninstall with a uninstall patch or uninstalled data script, it will remove data. If you use DB whitelist and you do module disable, it will remove data. But if you do set, uh, module uninstall with a DB schema whitelist, it doesn't remove it. So there's your interesting set of, of uh, ex your interesting expose as far as how a module actually affects uh, removing uh, data from the database.